Hello, everybody. We are here in the south southeast region, doing a follow-up video of our little pass pathways through the mountain here. It's been about 12 hours of working. It's been about 24 hours, but about 12 hours of working, and this is what we've accomplished before we had the road accomplished up to about here and all this is filled in and finished so far this is what we've managed to do since then so just a quick walk through and we'll follow up and update uh, we did a little bit of the edge here um, Whoops, careful, the line is right, where's the line? Right there, so I gotta be careful. Um, a bit of the edge, and we'll just do a walk down the road. So we did a little planting, a little blending. I had to make a few textures. There's a couple spots where it's off a little bit, but we'll put some grass or something like right here. You can kind of see an edge right there, but take care of that it's hard because uh, like I say the the rock in this region is white and you know how it comes through patchy so sometimes it's hard to match on the road the exact texture that is uh, underneath it so well, that rock group one always loads really slow. There it goes. Two's not loaded in either. Okay, but here we uh, <clears throat> put some stairs in here. I didn't prim them because it seems I'm walking up pretty easily through here. Uh, maybe I need to get stuck a little right there. But anyways, this comes through this way over the log and into the fay kingdom there I thought I'd go with mostly pines. Oops. excuse that the wipes fell on the ground there um, mostly pines through here because it's gonna have to trans uh, transform into snowy pretty quickly so I just went with piney and a couple of oaks and put a little pond in here let's wait for it to load a little there we go it's loading in now uh, keep in mind we're going to put some more planting and uh, some more grasses and plants will be in here maybe a few saplings couple more trees I don't know we'll see how that goes <clears throat> but it's pretty well roughed in for now uh, here I have to uh, fix that bump but through here I made the uh, the edges of the road piece transparent so I could bring the terrain up to the stones which is you got to do it go through it and walk through it over and over and over until you get it just right without shadows and, and all that it takes a while um, because uh, it was coming up on areas that were one color on one side and one terrain on the other side so we had to uh, do it that way rather than try and blend it in so we just uh, let the terrain that was underneath it show through and if you do it right it'll pass like right through here you can you can't tell but if you look closely 
there might be a shadow or two left I have to deal with. So that's it. We made it up to that point there. And um, I'm pretty happy with it. Looks pretty good. Yeah, definitely I'm going to need a little more planting through here. A little sparse still, but still it, it's, it's, uh, it's looking like I had pictured it in my head. Okay, we're going to cross over the line here. It's going to blip for just a second, and hopefully we'll be right back. I sunk a little. I need to with the terrain. There we go. This is not loaded all the way. You can see we did the, did the edge down that way. And I worked on this side a little bit as well. Um, going to be changing this texture around the outside of the edge of the road. Now you can see here now this, this brown part would be the part that I made uh, transparent on the other side. Back out. Let's see. Okay, now see it's stopped. It won't let me back up anymore. So if you click on your arrow down here, it will let you. That did it to me again. There we go. So I worked on this edge here a little bit. We're going to uh, start in with the drier trees on down to here it will be mostly um, no foliage, just just branches on the trees mostly. It'll be dry, dark, and brown. It's going to be the dark forest through here, which will lead us going off this way through the dark forest and end up over here on the edge of the, at the base of the, the dark castle. Right through here, I think the road will probably come through here. Um, not sure. Maybe right through there I'll make a pass. Let's see. Then again, I might come up this way around down and around yeah maybe that's more interesting not quite sure up through here maybe just some scraggly trees and then the uh, witch poo will be down here right in here at the base of stump mountain as I said before in the last, uh, I, f I thought maybe a little little creek coming in here in a pond in front of her place. This will be all scraggly and overgrown. And uh, as I said before, careful the edge is right here. Let's see where is it? Right there. That's the Fay Kingdom there. There's a log bridge I showed you earlier. Comes there places over here and then... The oracle will be over on this point here. Well, maybe not the point as much as right 
smack dab in the middle of this this island right here. And we'll put her her place right about here. So and there is Guardian Island. Just brought that in today. Been working on it. Um, it's a nice piece. Um, yeah, let me put the smaller one. Can't get a hold of it. Uh, I think I'm too far away. Let's see. Whoops. Uh, let's come over here and move it out of the way. Yeah, and you can get a better. Whoops. Better look at this piece. Um, just a basic piece. I don't know who made this. Um, might have been Dark Anvil. I, I'm not sure. Um, but, uh, no, maybe not. Anyway, I've had this for quite a while. This came from AW. It was an RWX file, so it was a bear to get in here and the DAE. Um, I think I'm going to change these guys out. They don't have enough detail for my liking. So I'm going to take these guys out and replace them with some other more detailed statues, I believe. I'm not sure which ones. I'm going to have to go into the caverns under the dark castle and choose. Because I don't have that group saved, so I'm going to have to go save that group and then I'll bring it out here and play with it a little bit. Ah, see all these roads up in the sky? This was from our friend uh, Priscilla Kleenex, who decided it would be funny to raise all the roads in this area, this region. Um, she came in here, he, she, whatever the hell. Um, and, uh, Some kind of, I don't know what kind of file she had going, but it had to be like named items that it would turn the physics on, or the uh, not the physics, so what, what, what the see here, what I believe this is what it involved the um physical whatever to shoot these all these things up in the sky I caught I caught them every time uh, this time I had caught him in the parks and rec and then after I booted him out of there and loco came in um, a little shortly afterwards but in the meantime he ended up over here. He came straight over here to Istari and uh, this region. And uh, all the roads in this region were up in the air like this. Most of them I was able to, able to control Z back. These were over five moves, which is the limit for going back on the control Z. Um, these are over five moves out of place so that's why they remain up here this uh, this road uh, snaked up this mountain all the way up to what is in my way up to this midpoint well almost up to this midpoint and uh, so I got to redo all of that it's okay could have been worse you know um, He really caused some yeah. 
he really caused some damage throughout the multiverse. I believe he took down a... There was a grid that had to close completely because of him. Um, we were um, lucky enough to escape such extensive damage. Um, I believe right there, what you just saw, and, and keep in mind that all these other roads were up in the air as well, just like that, all the way, this whole region, all the roads in this region. Um, that was the probably extent of the damage that we suffered. Um, let's see here. Um, Mm. Trying to see if I can. Oh, I, you know what? I don't think you're going to be able to see the picture. You probably can't even see this folder I have open. Um. Yeah. Um. I'm not seeing it. Anyway, what he did was he, uh, he had a, a prim spawner or whatever you call it. And, uh, these, I guess they were 10 meter across balls. He had just inundated this island here. It was completely full. Most of this ocean it started to seep up here into the Wolfie's place, and it stopped right here on the edge of me. But I did find, not too long ago, a few pieces that had made it over the edge and were still lodged over here, hiding. But uh, I was looking for the picture now to show you that this was just, there were thousands of balls in this Ravensport. Anyway... That guy sucked. Most likely still does. So we turned off access to this world, this grid, ever since. Which is okay, because we're pretty private here, and it's just us anyway, but still. Makes you mad. It's not right. People suck. Anyways. <laughs> Sorry, I got off on a little tirade there because I don't. I'm not happy with what that guy did. It's going to cause me. It's good. I mean, that snake up the mountain, that road is going to be really hard to redo. But it'll be better than it was, so it's all right. But in any case, here's where we got this far with the road, and we're going to go this way and join up right over here. From here it goes right up in here. All this terrain will change. This is way too snowy for what I intended right here. But Somewhere between those two. And we'll join it up to... I'm thinking a bridge some, somehow coming across to here. We'll see. Where it crosses, maybe the maybe it cross over here because I'm still considering doing a a forge and a foundry over here for the for the dwarves. Maybe right there. That might be a good spot right there to put a false mountain. Put it put it right there. We'll see. Anyway, there's the update. We're going to go over to the farm now and check on all my dead crops and clean up and plant again because it's been too many days and I know I've killed everything once again. But the animals are probably complaining and they need me to move some slop and corn around for them. woken up. 
No, let's get down. Mm. Oh, you've been eating. I can smell it. Okay. Buster's here. So I'm going to log off. I will talk to you guys later. And that's it. Bye.